Hello everyone. Sorry for the abrupt cut. Someone was at my door. It was my family. Now, you might notice something that looks a bit stupid right now. Don't worry. I made a copy of the map. And you might notice in the event list that, um, yes, there are 548 events currently. I'm testing my theory out right now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see what the event max limit is. I tested it earlier. Well, not the max. I tested my theory out earlier when my family was over and like 300 NPCs, and it ran flawlessly. None of them have events in them, though. They're all blank slates. Was this fine? I could do this again with them all having the same event in them to see if that does slow it down and I might do that in the future or maybe in the same video who knows but this is what it currently does at 548 events and they're all on random by the way and it's running it flawlessly. Like. These are all random NPCs. Walking about randomly. So imagine my game with all, the, with all of this in it. And this is just. Like 300 NPCs. Let me see, how many is it? Where does it start? Hold on. No, that's, no, that's 500 NPCs right there. So if the limit truly is 999 NPCs or events... Per map. And that's only halfway done. And none of them have any actual backbone to them, like text, otherwise. This might actually work. But now let's see what the actual limitation is for events. I'm actually curious on this and it has slowed down quite a bit because each one of these events are one kilobyte in file size I don't know why it slowed down because of this even though they're just one kilobyte in file but it could be because of the event list itself who knows but this Let's see what the actual event max is. I don't know if anyone else has tested this before. And if they haven't, I'll be the first one to do it. So ignore the clickety clacks. <laughs> and ignore the lag as well. Oh wow, it is like... It's still going. It's that far behind. Holy crap, dude. Where is it at now? It's lagging behind, and I have no idea why. Hold on, I wonder. Not responding my ass. <laughs> it's still not responding. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, it might break. Maybe that's why there's a limitation on it. 
Oh shit, it freaking did it. <laughs> 768. Let's keep going. I'm actually curious to see how big this map fi this file is compared to the regular one. Because each of these events that I'm putting down now, like I said, they're one kilobyte in size. I went too fast again, but that's fine. We're almost done if there is a limit on how much it can do. Is it free? It is. So if there is a limit, we only have like 150 left. And then we'll know for sure. But again, all these NPCs, imagine if it works and they all had their own story to them, their own quest lines. One of them or several of them pertain to the main quest and no markers of any kind at all. And you had to find the right NPC that pertains to the main quest without any visual markers whatsoever. And they're walking around on their own or they're in a building somewhere. Just because there's this many NPCs on this map does not mean you will find the main quest NPC. They could be in one of these many buildings walking around in that map as well. Supposedly we got like 90 more to go. Let's just keep going and see if there is a limit or not. And then we'll test it out again. Fifty more to go. And it might crash the entire engine when I go to delete this map. That's something I have to be aware of. Because of how many events there are. And I'm doing this for science. I'm doing it so that you guys know as well. So this is kind of a waste of an episode or a part, but it's for science. It's so that you guys know as well as me. I don't know what the limitations are on this engine. And neither do you. So this waste of an episode is knowledge. There is a max. We hit the max. Okay. How does it run? Oh my god, it runs flawlessly. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. There's hope. There's hope for my idea yet. We hit the max. Oh my god, this is wonderful. It's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, I love it. This is great. Now. How big is the file compared to the original version of it? I'm curious. Let 
map 7 apparently okay and then you are map 5 okay 7 5 damn so I guess they're not one kilobyte each then I guess they're maybe half Hold on, if we delete one. Oh boy. <laughs> if we delete one. Yeah, I think they're half. If we delete another one. They're not even half. Yeah, no, they're not even half. But can we delete this map, though, without it crashing? We can. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. <laughs> so now we know there is a limit on events. And you know I'm going to freaking use it, too. So, yeah, that's actually worth knowing. But not all of it will be NPCs walking about. It's going to be other setup stuff for future events. So hidden, I, hidden stuff that is triggered later. Like maybe hidden items or something. NPCs that will be... I don't know, we'll see. But having that many NPCs walking around and the game didn't crash at all on my end. Holy crap, dude, that's awesome. I love that. That's that's good to know, honestly. That gives me hope for doing what I want to do and that is having more NPCs than any other game out there <coughs> now that's a big ambition I know and I shouldn't go that big but gosh darn it I've been working on my game well not this one another one for 20 plus years now I don't give a fuck. <laughs> At all, honestly. I really don't. I want to go big for my first game. I truly do. Even though I shouldn't go big, I want to. I want to go big. And if I go big and it does not sell well, you know what? I don't care. Doing this is fun. And I highly encourage all of you to try it as well. Alright, so now we got that figured out. I think I'm done in the middle class section except for that one building. Which is an easy fix. Like, no problem at all. No problem there at all. Well, problem solved. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I did it. I'm done. <laughs> I forgot I had Phil, Uncle Phil turned on. No. We don't need Uncle Phil right now. We'll need Uncle Phil in a bit, though, however. Yeah, 
I can't see you behind that treasure. It's not worth it. You can go there for now, I guess. Why not? It won't hurt. You can go there as well. And then I can put like one more here. And then I can grab this. Now we need Uncle Phil. No. No, Uncle Phil. You don't go over there. Alright, that one is done. Awesome. And I think, like I said, this area is pretty much done. Because like I, like I said before, I mean, I, I could add more grass to the area, but I think there's enough. I really do, because with all the NPCs walking around and whatnot, they're going to fill the map up quite a bit as well. In each area of the the the, t the city, and having more trees and whatnot, especially you know, as obstacles, will make it even harder to walk around those NPCs as they are also walking around, preventing you, the player, from walking around. Unless I have all of the NPCs just sitting in one place, which is kind of boring. I want this game to feel alive as much as possible. Now, if I could implement AI into it, I would. I totally would. But I have no idea how to code, so... And I say that because who wants to play the same story over and over again? I mean, well, obviously some people do, but have that future be unlocked once you beat the game. You play the main game normally, but once you beat it, you can then play it again with a random AI generated story that's unlocked as a feature once you beat the game. If I could do that, I would. <clears throat> and honestly, I think that's what they should do for video games. For open world games. You buy the game, you play it as it is, and then once you beat it, New Game Plus is then an AI generated story. That's how it should be. Because who wants to play the same game over and over again? I sure as hell don't. I'm tired of that shit. And there's no point to New Game Plus because you're like, like let's say in Final Fantasy 15, you beat the game at level 60, you new game plus, you're back at the beginning at Sid's rest stop, fighting level 1s, at, and you're level 60. That's not new game plus. That's just a new game. If it's a new game plus, then those same enemies at Sid's place should be level 60, not level 1. There's no point to New Game Plus if the enemies you face are not your level. I'm sorry, but there's there's just no point to it. And people who want a New Game Plus, why? Until they make it to where the enemies are your level, like what Borderlands does. Borderlands does it right. You New Game Plus the enemies are higher level than you at 
when, when you start a new game plus. And you can do it as many times as you want. And they're always higher level than you. Even if you are maxed out. They're one to two levels, maybe three higher than you. Borderlands does that the correct way. Why can't other games do it the same way? It makes no sense. Okay, I think I said I'm done down here. Now to go up here and make buildings and whatnot. Alright. Well, I already know where I want the guardhouse. So I'm just going to honestly, you know what? I'll just do it the easy way. Yeah. Bit of a lazy maneuver, but I... Whoopsie! I had Uncle Phil on still. I'm sorry. Hold on now. Nope, I need to go over one more. Uncle Phil. Oh. Well, then. Uncle Phil, I need you. There we go. And then I can just cut this out. Fudge. Uncle Phil's on still. There we go. And that's done. Saves time. Awesome. I found a time saver. Or a t <laughs> time share. <laughs> I found a timeshare. <laughs> and now for the weapon store because of reasons. <laughs> because reasons. And now we want to do the weapon. Let's go, let's go somewhere else with this one. Where should I put this one at? Over here. Did I actually do it right? Off oh, by one. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Saves time. <laughs> if you don't agree with my methods, screw you. <laughs> it saves time. And I can fix it later. I don't care. And I may not fix it later at all. Who knows? I honestly may not fix it at all. So if you don't agree with what I'm doing, screw you. <laughs> They're pre-built buildings. I don't care. It saves me time. Just because I'm not using um this monstrosity. Hold on. Um Because I'm not using no this monst wait what? Oh wrong map. Oh it does. Oh, it does. Oh. <laughs> I... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Hold on now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I really don't. Come. Okay, so this, I don't care for. Compare it to... Ignore that. I, ignore this right here. Ignore this. Compare it to... Uh... New... And then we want... Max. So compare that version... 
to this one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't do that. So we got to do this. And that is fully zoomed out now. So there's no options at all. Proper toys. We want Dungeon. And then we want to do this one. Compare it. Oh, yeah, that's right. It crashes because it can't do it, which is bullshit. I don't know why it crashes, but it just does. Actually, you know what? I'll do it here. Why not? Hold on. Um, <sighs> fuck you, VX Ace. Why are you being a dick for? <sighs> it didn't used to crash like this at all, but it, it's being a, a a a pickly dick right now. There it goes. So compared to, that's right. I can't. I can't control zoom compared to this one. It's the same concept as this, but it's better. And how is it better? Well, look at all that empty space compared to this one. This is essentially a maze, but it's the same idea as this which is a room. But this is essentially a, well, it's essentially a straightforward maze. You start from one point and it leads you to where you need to go. Whereas a maze has dead ends. So they took this idea and they ruined it. Unfortunately. However, I don't mind the idea of of this. This I like. I could do this. I might actually do this. Actually, I should have done this for this. Actually, you know what? If there are some maps left over, you know what I might do? Ooh, that's an idea. Okay, so I will... I'll leave this the way it is now. Actually, no, hold on. Um edit oh, this. oh wow oh, that's all the shadows wow wow and there's something new that's like music almost <laughs> cool alright Actually, you know what? I'll just delete it real quick because I already don't want to make it again anyway. And then new. Act 1 water map and that is fine. Cool. <coughs> cool. But yeah, that's just an idea and that's just a comparison between the two as well. Hit no on that. Cool. Yeah, I. you know what? I will do that as an idea, maybe. Hold on. Um. Let me over here. Possible events. After
It's just if there's enough maps left over. Which I'm sure there will be because there's a 2,000 limit. And I might even have that be like, instead of end game content, it'll be extra content because... Actually... Actually, no, what? Hold on now. I got another, another idea for that. Hold on. Maybe. Whoops. No. Alright, cool. I could use it for a final boss or just in like an extra area that you can go into just for fun if you want to. Like it's not part of the actual main game. If you want to go in there you can. And you can only access it after you beat the game. Or maybe you have to go in there to fight the final boss and it's like maybe like a 10 floor maze who knows I might do that I don't know it's just an idea I just came up with we'll see though who knows <coughs> um so now I need, I need to work on those and how many are there three six seven so th three six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15. That's not bad. Actually, I need to do this real quick. Actually, no, I'll do it with um, a v yeah, I'll do it with the vents because I want to have to event it anyway. So I have low income, medium income, and high income. High income weapon store, okay. And then Is it guard house or is it, hold on, let me check. Yeah, it is. Guard house, yeah, okay. Actually, I need to change these fountains to be where they actually move. Um, stepping. Actually, is that the right? Yes, okay. Now if I do this, what does it do? Doesn't do anything. Weird. Weird. Whatever then, no big deal. All right. Delete that. Um, this will be
a bank. Only the upper crust gets the bank. No one else gets it at all. Alright, so I need to add a sign. I want to mark all these buildings first. Um, this... What do I want the in? Actually, you know what? I might mark them and then quit. Because my arm is starting to do its shit again. Making it hard to actually use a mouse. And it's unfortunate. I hate when this happens. I really do. But it's something I have to live with. Um... How about I put the N over here? Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to quit like right now because it's getting harder and harder to do things. So I do apologize. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. If not, then maybe Wednesday. But have a wonderful day. And if you enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe, like, and of course, hit the bell for more. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.